Okay, so Anna Coulter said something. Uh, I don't know if she tweeted it or if I saw a clip on Twitter where she was kind of talking about when it comes to Democrats that uh, with these special interest groups, whether that be you know uh, immigrants or LGBTQ or whatever, that kind of post the civil rights movement, there was like this 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 shift where kind of all of these social political issues are kind of filter through like civil rights, so to speak. You made kind of a provocative comment in your new book here, Mugged, and I think it's on page 151. You write that um, various groups, feminists, gay rights groups, and, and those who are defending immigrants have commandeered the black civil rights experience. Yes. What do you mean by that? Yes, I'm glad you asked that because I think it's one of the most important points of the book. I mean, I think what the way liberals um, have treated Blacks like children and many of their policies have been harmful to blacks. At least they got the beneficiary group right. We do have to, I mean, we shouldn't. There is the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow laws. We don't owe the homeless. We don't owe feminists. We don't owe women who are desirous of having abortions, but that's, or, or gays who want to get married to one another. That's what civil rights has become for much of the left. They dropped the blacks after rights? five minutes. Immigrant rights are not civil rights? Um... No, I think civil rights are for blacks. And that it's, it's kind of a perversion because with with, with um, black Americans in the history in this country, there was a very kind of uh, particular reason why we had to rectify a certain problem. And it's kind of been used by, you know, leftists to, to, to kind of, I don't know, shoehorn all these other problems in. And when you said that they view it as a moral imperative, immediately what she said in that clip came to my mind. And that could be the case, but if that's the case, then I, how do we con like change their their viewpoint? I don't know. We can change their viewpoint. I mean, I think Anne is right about this. I mean, she she says this all the time. She's to people who claim, you know, victimization. Basically, she says, look, your group is not black Americans. You don't get to pretend <laughs> that you've experienced the same thing. And look, I'm not trying to pander here, but black Americans, descendant, old stock black Americans, I don't mean a Nigerian family that came last week. Um, there's a there's that's different. That's a unique part of our history, a unique problem, and uh, you know, a sin original sin kind of thing in our history. Nobody else. No ethnic group that's been discriminated against, no one has experienced anything similar to this. And the um the the power of it though is such that, like you said, everybody seeking political power tries to say, well, look, you know, we're just like uh, this is just like the civil rights movement. Um I don't I'm not sure how many people even believe that, but it's a powerful it's useful. Uh message or a powerful uh, propaganda message that a lot of groups, whether it's gay rights groups or other ethnic groups or whatever, they use that all the time. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I don't think there's any way to change those activists mind on that other than reduce the incentives because it's not as successful. And that's only going to work if the public and elected officials say, look, sorry, you're not your your experience, yes, everybody's had problems. Look, in New England in the 1600s, if you were a Quaker, you were discriminated against. You were an English Protestant, but the wrong kind of English Protestant, you were discriminated against. And they even hanged a couple of them because they wouldn't take the hint and leave Massachusetts. So everybody, look, human beings are broken. Mm. We're a sinful people. The question is, uh, is the experience that you, that the group you purport to belong to significantly problematic, you know, sort of beyond, sort of in an order of magnitude different from anyone else's? And no one fits that category except old stock Black Americans. Everyone else tries to be parasitically benefit from it. And I think it's kind of gross.